<laughs> Come on, <Argos. laughs> I heard that they got me on a tight leash, but I'm a big dog like Argo. Yeah. Bubble in the lead, what are you talking about? Cooking Chef T, what are you talking about? Told me that the beef were not healthy, so we went green, what are you talking about? Hey, Bubble in the lead, what are you talking about? Cooking Chef T, what are you talking about? You, it's your boy Tyrell, and we got Argos down here. Say hi to the camera, man. I decided to bring the camera out today, man, and uh, kind of vlog my day. I haven't posted a video in about a week, and uh, let me explain. Recently, or well, actually for a long time, man, I've been going through a lot of stuff mentally, emotionally, physically. Everybody has their own things that they go through. Everybody has their own, um, you know, problems in life and things like that. If you guys listen to my music, like I use music as a way to vent. So all my music is literally me expressing myself, talking about things that, I, that I've been through, things that I go through. The reason why I wanted to tell you guys is because, you know, Argos has been like really, really helpful during this for me. He's been there for me, you know? I think dogs really can sense like when you're down and stuff like that because I mean, Argos wouldn't leave my side. If I sat at my desk, Argos would come to my desk and lay next to me. If I got on my bed, he'll come to my bed and lay next to me, man. And um you know it, he's he's really been great you guys and i just want to share that with you it'll help you know if you guys down in the comments you can pause this video right now and just comment down below something positive um something uplifting man i kind of want to get out the house today but right now i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and we are all ready to go you ready to go you ready to go <laughs> you ready to go buddy <laughs> Up, down, no. Look at this guy. Go ahead and bring some water. So I bring this ball too, you never know. This is for Argos's water to go into. It's like a little water bottle. He's like watching me put everything inside the bag. Gotta bring the poop bag. You know Argos, man. Actually, Argos, sit. Boy, lay down, lay down. Good boy. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Good boy. Paul, give me Paul. Good boy. I'll go speak. <laughs> speak. <laughs> Good boy. Yes, I got boy. Yes, I got boy. Let's go, man. Off leash, man. You want pee? Come on, let's go to the car. Argos, come on. Oof. Bless you, bye. Let's go. What happened to your ear, man? Let's go. Get up in there, boy. Boy. I know I still have to buy him a bigger vest. Uh, the vest that I had, he outgrew it. So I have to attach his seatbelt to his uh, his collar. But I mean, it's better than, than nothing, honestly. Oh, baby, you got what I need. Oh, yeah, by the way, I know some of you guys might have noticed I don't have my, uh, my chain on. Long story short, man, it's like a very, like, thin chain. Um, it's real, but it's thin. And it actually broke. I was taking my backpack off and I guess I like yanked it a little bit and it broke. They told me I can go and exchange it or do like uh, the next one I get is more, costs more than the one I got, then I can just pay the difference or whatever. So I need to do that soon, man, because Argos out here outshining me, man. I'm probably going to go ahead and take them to a uh, a local trail. Um, I've been here a few times. Some of you guys have been keeping up with me for a while. Uh, some of the vegan videos that I recorded, um, like my five reasons to go vegan video, um, the why I went vegan video, all this was recorded at the same place. Wait, 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 stop the music, stop the music. This is where me and Argos practice our off leash. You'll see that, right? All right, let the music play again.
go for this hike, buddy. Argos's color is really weird. He's like more dark, like he's like black some days. <laughs> then he's brown some days, and then he's like black and brown. So I don't know what to call. It. He's like a, I don't even know. You comment down below what you think he is. Cause if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see good, but he has like a black strip along the top of his back. And then like on the other side, it's like brown. So I don't even know. I just say he's black and brown. I can only imagine, man, his nose is probably going crazy. It's like a person inside of a buffet. You just smell all these different things probably. With that gold chain on, Argos looks like a city dog hiking for the first time. <laughs> Uh, see a dog. See how Argos reacts. Just a little tiny dog. Look at him. He already sees the dog. No Argos. He doesn't want to play. How you doing? Thank you. How you doing, buddy? Good. He doesn't want to play with hey. you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Come on, Argos. <laughs> Come on, let's go, buddy. <laughs> Yo. He had like a little chihuahua, and I kind of knew that was going to happen, man. Funny thing is, he was like, oh, I guess they're both jerks, huh? I'm like, no. Argos ain't a jerk, man. He wanted to play. Your dog wanted to attack. <laughs> but, you know, Argos gets really excited when he sees other dogs because he wants to play. Which is why I want to adopt another dog in the future. Like, once I get my own place, um, get myself settled in, I definitely would like to adopt another dog because it'll help Argos out as well, man. I'm glad I was able to catch that on camera, man. <laughs> Argos, oh my goodness. It's a good thing I bought all them bags, huh, buddy? Silver. Hello, how you doing? Come on. <laughs> Sometimes I don't mind people petting Argos. He's not where I want him to be yet. What I mean by that is him jumping on people. I'm still working hard every single day. Um, you know, and him not jumping on people, man. See, well, Argos, like, as soon as you, like, as soon as he hears that baby voice, like, hey, puppy, like, you know what I'm saying? When he hear that, like, he just gets super excited and he tries to jump on people. And, you know, you can't just jump on people, man. You know what I'm saying? So I try to, like, you know, shy away from you know him interacting with people and that's in that type of way like random people um because i want to work on that first um you know they think he's trying to attack them but really he's just trying to you know play with them so to avoid that i just you know just keep it moving man and they be like oh you know does he bite and i'm like nah he doesn't bite he's very friendly but he gets really excited I always say that that's my little line they, he gets really excited which he does 
That way, if he jumps on you, you know that he's just really excited and not trying to like harm you or anything. Now, even though I had Argos for quite some time now, this is a also like another way for me to practice certain things with him. Uh, just like interactions, um, leash training for sure. Because Argos still not 100% there with the leash training. He still pulls from time to time. And um, this is another way I can work on that. And it's going to be in a different environment where he's distracted by uh, certain smells, uh, different people, different dogs. So it's all a training it's all a training lesson at the end of the day so we're probably gonna go over here once we get down there i'll probably uh give him some water take a quick water break man what are you doing man I'm tired <laughs> I need to cut this grass, man. Do you not want any water, man? I just poured all this nice cold water out for you. And you don't want any. Hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy. <laughs> so right now, uh, me and Argos is walking back to my car. And man, I'm tired. <laughs> All this hiking, man, like going through these different terrain and we probably walked um, maybe three miles. I think it's like a mile and a half down and then like a mile and a half back. So um, this is a really long walk. I'm tired. I'm sure Argos is gonna sleep when we get in the car, man. My house isn't that far from here. My house is literally like 10 minutes from here. I'll see you guys when I get in the car. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back. You have fun? It was pretty cool, man. Um, I think Argos definitely enjoyed it, man. You guys saw that dog. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, that whole thing, right? I didn't really get a chance to talk about it too much, but I saw the guy and his dog from a distance. It was a little small, like, I think like a chihuahua or something, something like that. I don't even know. Um, I seen him from a distance and he kind of stayed off to the side and you hear me say uh, thank you You know what I'm saying because I knew Argos would get excited and try to play with the dog But oftentimes dogs don't want to play with Argos, you know what I'm saying and um, You know he kind of stepped to the side or whatever And you know you've seen Argos kind of like lunge because he wants to play Ar like I'm looking at Argos the whole time I know how Argos is he's not aggressive. I've never seen Argos be aggressive to any dog you know, he's always want to play. And that's, that's his way of playing. Um, is it, he like to like lunge. If I, I'll show you guys a clip of when he met Kane. <laughs> he liked to lunge and that's how he plays or whatever. But, you know, that dog, like, you know, he started like growling a little bit and then his owner grabbed him. And he's like, you know, he kind of like lunged at Argos but start barking and showing his teeth and stuff. and. Um, you know, Argos is like, dang, man, like, you know, I just wanted to play, you know, I wasn't trying, I wasn't on that, you know what I'm saying, you on that, you feel me, I know it's early for you, why you trying to fight me, man, you know what I'm saying. Also, guys, if you haven't seen my video already, me and Argos opened up a P.O. Box, P.O. Box information is P.O. Box 1054, Manassas, Virginia, 20108. All right, I'm going to put that in the description as well, just in case you want to send me and Argos something in, um, that's the P.O. Box information right there. All right, buddy? Yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What are some videos you guys wanna see me do at Argos? You know, me taking him on this trail, it kinda like inspired me to try to invest in a GoPro. Uh, I know they're quite pricey, and uh, I think I'm gonna try to save up on one, man, just so I can attach it to Argos. I think that'd be a cool aspect to kinda get his perspective of like, you know, what he's seeing, and like just getting that ground level type of like perspective i think that'd be pretty dope man let me know what you guys think in the comments about that but with all that being said don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that subscribe button you better hit it too also click the bell so you can get a notification anytime i post and i will see y'all 
next video. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bobo in the lead, what are you talking about? Cooking Chef T, what are you talking about? Told me that the beef weren't healthy. So we went green, what are you talking about? What are you talking about?